Hi, this is Shelley Craft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Cambridge House International Vancouver Resource Investment Conference 2013. I have Craig Lindsay of Otis Gold Corp. Symbol. I gotta tell you, I love this symbol. <laughs> Triple O dot V on the TSX Venture. Symbol in the US, O-G-L-D-F. Welcome to SNN Live. Shelly, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate your time. Okay, let's get right into Otis, because you're a first timer on SNN Live. So tell our investor audience about Otis. Uh, Otis Gold uh, is a gold company. We're based in Idaho. We have four projects. We've got a million ounces of 43101 compliant resources. And our flagship, Shelly, is the Kilgore Gold Project, which is located just north of a town called Idaho Falls. And the Kilgore Gold Project has an 820,000 ounce resource on it. The Kilgore deposit is open-ended. Uh, and we also have a number of other uh, targets on this project that create an opportunity for Kilgore or to move towards a multi-million ounce deposit in very short order. You sound like an elephant. You know what? Uh, this has elephant potential. When Echo Bay Mines was out on the property in the mid-90s, uh, they actually identified a potential for seven million ounces out there. Well, Echo Bay, everyone knows. They, you know, your neighbors are probably of the same ilk, I imagine. Well, it, when it comes to Echo Bay, there's a long history between uh, Otis Gold and Echo Bay and that my exploration team made up the core of the old Echo Bay Mines U.S. exploration team. Don Ranta, who's on our board of directors, uh, he's the chairman of Rare Element Resources, was actually the vice president of exploration for Echo Bay. John Carden, uh, one of my geologists, was the director of U.S. exploration. And Mitch Bernardi was a senior project geologist with Echo Bay. And when Echo Bay was out on this project, it was actually Mitch and John that ran the development project uh, out there for Echo Bay for two and a half years and Kilgore was actually going to be Echo Bay's next production store in the mid-1990s in a $350 gold environment. What's your background? Uh, corporate finance, investment banking. So you're Canadian however and you're all down in the US. We are, yes. And you know what? I love working in the United States for a number of different reasons. Uh, one of the key reasons is infrastructure. Pretty much anywhere you go in the western U.S., uh, you have great infrastructure. And we're really blessed at Kilgore in that you can drive two-wheel drive vehicles right up to our drill sites today. We've got rail, we've got power, we've got water. And in addition to that, in, in the United States, one of the things that I love about working down there is the political uh, stability is very good down there. Uh, the whole issue issue of property tenureship uh, and ownership is very well regulated and you don't have any of the challenges uh, that you run into in many other more far-flung and exotic jurisdictions uh, than the US. No, and let me tell you, a lot of our investors are in the US. Mm -hmm. So when they hear a good US mining story, they're all over it. And I just, you know, I, I, let's give out the website. Our, our website is www otisgold.com O-T-I-S-G-O-L-D.com Now, corporate finance guy with all of these guys from Echo Bay who've walked the property, they know where every rock is buried, I imagine, with all of the geo information. Where do you see the company going in 2013? I'm sure most investors would like to hear your opinion on that. Uh, it's going to be an exciting year for Otis. 2013, we're going to do 7,000 meters of drilling at the Kilgore deposit. It's 820,000 ounces today. All of our drilling is going to be step out or expansion drilling. So the potential to expand the resource pretty dramatically uh, is, is very real. In addition to that, we're going to be starting 12 month environmental baseline studies, which is a precursor to future mine permitting activities and the final thing we're going to be doing is a preliminary economic assessment so that we can start talking to our investors about the economic potential of this deposit. Do you ultimately want to be a producer? <laughs> this deposit is going to go into production and we are going to move that project into production. Now let's give the website one more time. Uh, www.otisgold.com Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Lindsay of Otis Gold Corp. Symbol I love the symbol. I'll say that again. Triple O dot V on the TSX Venture. That's zero O O O dot V. And on, in the U.S., it's O G L D F on the O T C Q X. I'm Shelley Kreb. This is SNN Live. We are at. 
to Cambridge House International Vancouver Resource Investment Conference 2013. Let me thank you, Craig, for coming on. Thank you very much for having me. Really appreciate it.